हेलो हेलो डीकेम सर गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम हियर एंड आवर एंड आवर काउंसिलर विल आल्सो बी जॉइनिंग शॉर्टली नो नहीं शी हैज ऑलरेडी जॉइन ओके ओके थैंक यू सो वी मे स्टार्ट एट 10:30 मैम यस शार्पली एट 10:30 यस ओके मैम थैंक यू तार के ना पूरे दी तार ना क्यों अच्छा नहीं तार ये अच्छी जगह पर है तो खुले फोन नंबर फोन नंबर पार्ट ना है प्लीज म्यूट Ma'am, you can check the sound of uh, uh, Apollo, ma'am. Inka, ma'am, please check the sound of Apollo, ma'am. Okay, Apollo, ma'am. Would you would you just start? Say hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, please hello. unmute yourself. Yes. Yeah, good yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Good to have good you morning. back. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, okay. Okay. Would you like to check anything else? Uh, shall I check the PowerPoint once? Yeah, just just the first slide, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Just the first slide. Okay. Is it okay? It's yes, okay. 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 Has our director sir joined, Deepak sir? No, so far I have not seen him to join. We, we'll just wait a few minutes for him and then we'll start. Okay. Just want to. Would you give him a call because sir, if sir joins, yeah. it is good. Joined. He has already joined. Oh, he has joined. Sir has joined. Good.
सर मे वी स्टार्ट ना यस मैम हेलो यस मैम ओके यस मैम यू कैन स्टार्ट ओके ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी आवर रिस्पेक्टेड डायरेक्टर सर आवर कन्वेनर फॉर दिस ऑनलाइन इंडक्शन प्रोग्राम आवर एचओडीज फैकल्टी मेंबर्स स्टाफ एंड आवर बिलावेड स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इज डे 3 ऑफ द ऑनलाइन इंडक्शन प्रोग्राम ऑफ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट कोलहाघाट we have been successfully conducting this induction program and it gives us great pleasure to tell you dear students that you will be glad to know that kolakhat is one college where the mentoring system is not only taken very seriously but we have also someone to help you counsel you so we have someone who is a college counselor also we have professor we have miss opala chatterji and earlier in, uh, in this session she had taken a counseling program where we could face the challenges of the covid situation and today her topic will be the transition to the college life she will be speaking for maybe about 30 minutes and thereafter there will be a 10 minute interactive session so over to you madam thank you ma'am okay greetings to one and all present here today we are discussing about the transition from school to college before uh, i'm doing that i want to share my slide just one sec is it okay yes ma'am okay transition a change from one stage to another transition from high school to college can be a very easy one for some and immense challenge for others there is no wrong or right way to transition to college because everyone has different academic and personal experiences prior to entering a college all of you have successfully passed from high school and you are about to start the college i know that you were nervous as you think about the new environment you are going to be exposed with new friends new responsibilities and new opportunities for that preparation there are certain tips first embrace being nervous learn to balance your social life and college life be smart with college resources don't give up adjust your expectation and study hard and the most important thing know your worth okay when we are talking about all these things i just want to know all of you prefer to um, hear from me only in english or you want some mixed if you have a comment box please just write down ma'am kindly just give the, uh, their responses whether they are comfortable only in english or they want to hear with english and bengali both just boys okay just, students you have heard ma'am query so please uh, respond in the chat box if you have queries again if you have language issues please let us know that whether you are comfortable in english or maybe a mixture of bengali and hindi yeah, yeah, is yeah. also required yeah, it will yeah. be primarily in english but Because do let the speaker yeah. know about your problems yes uh, madam good morning i have some submission here okay yes sir yes sir madam, please the medium of communication in this college is english so we will be only following english because we are issuing certificate to different agency that we are communicating only mm -hmm. in english when we talk to the yes parents, yes we we use yes. the three languages the local vernacular yes. the hindi and the english so i request you madam yes. we will confine to english and english only 
ओके 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 सर ये सर थैंक यू बिकॉज दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ मकाउट पॉलिसी आल्सो बिकॉज मकाउट हैज गिवन अ पॉलिसी डिसीजन यस सो 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 आई एम श्योर मे बी इनिशियली दे माइट हैव अ फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स बट ग्रेजुअली दे विल पिक अप दैट आल्सो आई थिंक इज पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रांजिशन दैट इन द लेक्चर क्लासेस आल्सो इनिशियली दे माइट हैव अ बिट ऑफ बट वी आर देयर वी आर देयर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर देयर टू हेल्प यू विद द लैंग्वेज प्रॉब्लम यू विल ओवरकम ओके सो हैव फेथ एंड लिसन केयरफुली ओके ओके मैम प्लीज कंटिन्यू okay now i am telling you a story a university professor started his college by picking out of his back pocket a 2000 rupees note and in that hall there were 200 people he asked how many of you like this not naturally all 200 hands went up then he took the note and folded it half twice and said how many of you want this note still 200 hands went up now he took the note and crumpled and said how many of you want this note now again 200 hands went up finally he chucked the note on the floor he screwed it with his shoes and crumpled it and picked it back up with dirt and asked how many of you want it and it's amazing that still 200 hands up he said today we will learn an important lesson no matter how much i crumpled that note you still wanted it because it was still worth 2000 rupees in the same way the 2000 rupees note held its value so do you no matter how many times life will squeeze you crumples you you will always keep your value the spark within us will never be taken away our value is not created by the price of our clothes our hairstyle our costly bike or cars nobody can take our knowledge our bliss or eternity so enrich yourself and for that you have to follow few steps there is a very amazing sanskrit verse which is very important for all of you specifically we all are students now we are learning still we are learning so it's very important for all students and all should possess and try to cultivate those qualities in life i'm just reciting that then i i will explain ka ko cheshta vakodhyanam swana nidra tathai vacha alpahari griha tyagi vidyarthi pancha lakshanam vidya which means the person who desires knowledge all of you come he here to learn something but for that you need some basic qualities but uh, i can say basic five qualities which help you to get success the first one is kako cheshta kako means the crow and cheshta means the effort kako cheshta means the effort of a crow all of us in our childhood read the story of crow who is extremely thirsty and flying around to look for some water the crow found the pitcher of water crow landed itself on the rim of the pitcher and 
looked inside at the contents. It found there is water, but the water is at the bottom of the pitcher. And there is no way the crow drink water by putting its beak inside. Crow started thinking and came across a brilliant idea. It started around and picking up in its big tiny pebbles. Then it started to put them inside the pitcher. Pebbles by pebbles by pebbles the crow working hard until the water rose way up to the rim of the pitcher. And the crow quenched its thirst. So Kako Chester refers the patience and hard work and the effort of the crow. If you have to do something in your life, you have to go through some painful sharpening of Kako Chester or hard work. The second quality of a student is Vakodhyanam. It means the intense focus of a crane. When we look at the crane, we see it is standing on one leg, completely focused into the water. The crane allows the tiny fishes to swim around and not to satisfy with them. The crane will focus the big fishes and wait for the big fishes to come. If it focuses on the small fishes, then it loses the big fishes, big fishes. So it has to focus on the big fishes only. Similarly in life, when all of you cross your school boundary and come to the college, a lot of small things may satisfy you temporarily. But if you want to do something big, something good for your future, then allow small things to pass by. There are a lot of distractions. We should not be distracting all little things. Sometimes there will be interpersonal conflicts, entertainments, so many small things in life. Let them pass by and focus what is important. The next quality is Swano Nidra. In Sanskrit, Swan means dog and Nidra means sleep. Swana Nidra means the sleep of a dog. When the dog is sleeping, although eyes are closed, but still the dog is very alert about the surrounding. All those who want knowledge in their lives mm -hmm. and want to pursue a meaningful life have to practice the quality of alertness. Although we may have eyes closed doing what are doing in our life, we shouldn't miss out to be alert to the world around us. There are a lot of things to learn from our environment. <coughs> Sorry. So be alert. Don't miss the chance. And now, the next one is Alpahari. Literally, Alpahari means eatless. It means with dirty should eat less. Now, this is not what is implied by the word through. We have different types of ahar. For our tongue, we have food. That's the ahar. For our ear, we have sound like music, talks, words. That is the aha. For our eyes, beautiful sights, movies. 
all these are another ahar for our eyes each of our senses has some ahar alpahari means we should be very careful of what input we give to our senses and how long i know all of you are thinking about maybe your uh, addiction with social media we are spending a long time with it and you know that it creates an impact on our inner soul also so just be alert when we see something when we watch something how much healthy it is because it is also a heart the fifth quality is grihatyagi grihatyagi means leaving home to go in pursue of knowledge like many of you may decided to leave your home stay in hostel for your studies but actually grihatyagi doesn't mean leaving home only it means leaving our comfort zone in school life we are habituated to stay in our comfort zone but now time comes where you have to leave your comfort zone we all know no pain no gain so these five qualities if you remember you can achieve your goal then you can when you achieve your goal when you dedicate yourself then you understand your value also and it's very much important to know your value i am telling you another story once pablo picasso was sketching in the park when a bold woman approached him it's you picasso the great artist oh you must sketch my portrait she insists so picasso agreed to sketch her i think all of you of all of you know who is pablo picasso a great artist after studying her for a moment he used a single pencil stroke to create her portrait he handed the woman his work of art it's perfect she gasped to manage to capture my essence of essence with one stroke in one moment thank you how much do i owe you 30000 dollar ma'am that is slip line but what the woman spurted how could you want so much money for this picture it only took you 30 seconds to draw it then picasso responded ma'am it took me 30 years to do that in 30 seconds and it's amazing how that time that invisible unforgotten world beyond the bottom of the iceberg underneath of the world water the part that you have not seen before now you can clearly see because now you know your value so keep that effort which makes you worthy blissful knowledgeable know the actual strategy it may be engineering it may be management whatever the subject knowledge the practical knowledge it's very much important because i know 
there are many students who have who are not decided to be an engineer from a score of heart just take it just as an option of a career don't do that learn it from your heart not only don't focus to only get the marks and only get the job this is not the actual goal you have to increase your potentiality so i expect to start you have to start your journey from today so whatever the discussion we are going we are doing here from that i'm just repeating the basic gist the first thing you have to know your value and for that the five steps that you have to follow give your effort be focused be alert careful about your sensory inputs and leave your comfort zone if we if all of you follow these guidelines i think you will be successful in your life so i expect all of you to start your journey from today now you can say if you anything you have to ask me i'm ready to say thank you thank you ma'am i think i think through uh, storytelling sessions you have reached out to the students yes and for, to focus to offer their sincerity to take engineering not merely just as an option but to do it seriously but you have, i think you have put it across in a very simple lucid manner and it should be attracting them there may be questions so please students i would request that in the chat box or maybe if uh, dkm sir sees to it that you can unmute yourself perhaps and you can place your questions after which i would request dkm sir and our director sir also to share their views but first the students what are your feelings what are your thoughts on this please share with ma'am and all of us students if you want to ask something if you have any queries you can write in chat box also okay so one student has said ma'am nice story that is good okay yes the pablo picasso story i think we are going to remember for a very long time for a very yeah. long time yeah yeah yes good story because good story. Uh, other than it will be not so interactive ma'am because yes yes uh, exactly exactly uh, i don't you want touch, that you touch you reach out to them yeah exactly no 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 yes what about the others so shomo has given his feedback what about the others all are writing nice inspirations nice story like it okay okay but but yes. if you have any question students if you have any questions you may ask directly by unmuting yourself any question okay they are saying it's very inspirational yes any 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 observation your thoughts yes of course you like it also share it that is also good we'll get to know that you are part that we are with you 
we wish we could see all your faces but at least we are reaching out to you we are here as a family as a cmk family you are now part of a family so you know just as in the family you share with your elders with your seniors and they guide you so part of this project today is that we are here with you yes and i i want that you remember this five strategy because it it will help you the next four year because there are a lot of distractions i know in college life means a lot of distractions are there so if you have to focus on your goal so these five guidelines you should remember Yeah, one boy has written that it is also useful in our daily life. Yes, obviously it's right that it's very much useful not only for the student life. It's obviously useful for our daily life also. So you have a question, yeah. ma'am? How can yeah, I yeah, overcome what, the distractions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. how can i overcome some distractions distractions okay first what you have to do if you have to overcome the distractions but time management is very much important maybe you are giving much more time with games or social media then first make a fixed time for that for every time slot you have to fix what you will do on that particular time there are some mobile uh, alertness the alert also if you are using much more social media mobile is also giving an alarm that you are exceeding your time limit so you can set it in mobile also the first thing number 2 what may be what uh, it uh, any goal that is you that you want to achieve in your life just write down in a page and just keep it in front of your study table so that every day when you start your study or when you enter your room you can see that all time and it help you to recollect every time what you have to do what is important in your life that you can do number 3 the whole day we are giving ourselves lot of entertainment so first cut it which is your first prior which is your very favorite entertainment suppose you are playing games that is the most uh, favorite entertainment time so first cut it because until i do this one i will not play in this way and if you if you have done a particular thing a particular task in a fixed day after that you can re reward yourself by playing the game for maybe half an hour or one hour so in this way na you have to make a time management and a routine just try to practice it for few days if you feel any problem then you can consult me also Yes, Rohan Ray on YouTube. I think practical is more important than theory. Yeah, it's obvious. Practical is more important in theory, but uh, our educational system is there. Only practical paper is not there. There are some theoretical paper. So somehow, somewhere, you have to write down something theoretical because the without theoretical knowledge, also you can't go further. practical is very much important but theoretical knowledge is also important another question ma'am me is it very important to have social media accounts in our daily life i can say it's important 
it's not and i can't say that today's life is not important because you see that what but you have to choose what if, how you are using it we in which purpose whether it's only for your any necessity or you are just entertaining yourself it's good that we can entertaining ourselves but that is for half an hour or one hour it's okay but if throughout the day we are entertaining we are chatting we are um, watching videos and uh, movies then i don't think that it will be good so social media account is good but the main purpose that's matter another question how to deal with failure how to deal with failure ha i'm giving you an example you know that uh, the uh, if you know the story of that person who has uh, created disney if you know the story who has created whatsapp then you have you must uh, understand that initially they also uh, faced a lot of negativity and uh, many uh, from facebook from google they have rejected also but that positive thought in mind that helps to motivate them and that helps to create some another app or some another thing that positivity is very much important because we all know that failure is the pillar of success so failure doesn't means that i lose the match it helps us to know where i was wrong is there any steps that i have mistaken it helps us to learn something for and to accept for the next challenge so it depends on your thinking process whether you take it positively whether you take it negatively and if you think ma'am how to think positive then one thing i can suggest you all of you one practice you can do the whole day, you can keep a jar and the whole day anything any positive note about you if someone said you are very good or oh, what you are very beautiful or anything any positive comments if you anyone have done just write it in a paper in a small paper and keep it inside that jar and after 15 days just open that jar and just see how many positive things you have you can practice it practice it it helps you to think positively when you feel frustrated when you feel you feel negatively that time it will very much help how to be an all rounder in my life whether you have started something i'm not talking about all rounder from any aspect all rounder for uh, anyone is all rounder who can know everything because first we have to accept everyone has some positive things and everyone has some negative things no one is picture perfect so i know everything i'm all rounder this is a fake term because all rounder means something maybe i found something that you don't know so first think that what is your perception about all rounder according to that just make a list what do you understand 
about an all-rounder. How can I stay motivated always? I have already said reward and punishment technique is very important. Don't entertain yourself until you do something, some task which is very much important for your present situation. Suppose you have to finish this project. Until you have written this or until you have written four pages or five pages of that. Today I will not open my Facebook. If I finish the four pages, then I open for one hour, I will do, then I stop it. Next again tomorrow, if I do not do these five questions, then I will not open any YouTube video. In this way, try to motivate yourself always. Every day you have a challenge, you have to finish it and then you, re you reward yourself. Or maybe you can take five, three or four days that these three or four days I will do all these things, then I will entertain myself on the fifth day. Just try to do it. Uh, Ma'am, the point was very helpful, but it's easier to know what we are supposed to do. Be, but it's very difficult to actually apply it in real life. How can, I have said already, that reward and punishment, what we are doing, we are entertaining ourselves, but we are thinking, we are procrastinating that the next day we will do it. But that next day will never come. This is the actual scenario. Because the other entertainments are going on. First, stop it. That somehow, somewhere, you feel that hunger that I am not getting anything. Why I am not getting anything? Because I am punishing myself because I have not done what is more important for me. That you have to do. But we are not doing that. We are entertaining ourselves. Somehow, somewhere you have to strict on that particular thing. The I will not entertain myself until I do this work. What is success? Success is the story after failure. Very good. How to deal with negative? Then I will suggest you, first you write down or first you think five or ten positive points about yourself. Just see how many, uh, how much we know ourselves. Instantly, if I ask you that, think about five positive points about you and five negative points about you. Just see which you, you can write more, five positive or five negative. Just try to do it and see. If you write down five negative points easily and you have to think for write down five positive points, maybe you are getting two, two or three that means you are thinking in a negative way. And if you are write down five positive points easily and you have to think some negative points and maybe one or two you get, that means you can think in a positive way. So try, do, try to do this now. Then you can understand. I have an addiction in video games. How to reduce it? Make a fixed time. Make a fixed time slot or you can fix the match that at least one, today I will play only one match or two match. You have to fix that. Or uh, you can do it, uh, there is uh, some app which help you to give that alert that if it crossed already one hour or suppose you are uh, fixing it one and a half, if it crossed it, then the mobile is giving you alertness, alarm that you have crossed your limit, time limit. So set up that. In, in your mobile, you just set it. In mobile or 
um, if you play in your PC or laptop, fix it that. How can I set my daily routine perfectly? Daily routine doesn't mean only to study. Daily routine means everything you can do, but according to your priority. So according to your priority, you make a routine, which is important. The time limit is more for that particular task. Give some time, times for entertainment, acting with our family members, it will help full for us. It helps to reduce the uh, screen time, actually. So in this way, you can um, make a timetable where you can give some time for your studies, you can give some time for your entertainment, you can give some time to talk with your family members, in this way, you can uh, make a routine. How to become a better person? Then the same question, better person. It's very much controversial. Some, maybe I like someone, according to me, he is a better person. But maybe you think he is not a good person. The first thing is, if you want to think about that, I have to be a better person. The first step, the first step, what you have to practice now, know yourself. Know what is your positive qualities, know what is your negative quality. Why? Because we have to enhance our positive qualities. And we have to reduce our... I know that this is my negative quality. Maybe I can easily uh, lose my control. I can use slangs. If, if, if this is my negative quality. So I know it. And, and the thing is, I have to accept it. Yes, this is my negative quality. And from there, you try to reduce it. Ma'am, how should I behave if someone... Did? Now, it depends on whether you respect yourself. Uh, Ma'am, how should I behave if someone degrades me? Are you giving that person more priority? It depends on that if we are giving priority to ourselves or the other person. If someone is degrading me, that doesn't mean my position is already go down. Because if I know myself, if I respect myself, then if someone says something negatively, if uh, someone makes some wrong comments also, it doesn't matter. If it is his problem that he is degrading, but it's not my problem. If I am giving that control to other person that, he can switch off or switch on my mode, then it's my problem. So if someone is degrades you, then just ignore. How to deal with rejections from someone? The same, same answer I want to say that rejection someone means whether the person uh, is very much important for your life. That is the first question. If you think, obviously it's your age, you can think more emotionally that Without that person, maybe maybe my life is end. But I suggest you try to think a little bit practically. How much that person is important in your life? 
is group study is better than self study group study is better than self study if and only if we will study at that time but most of the time we are chatting watching movies that time i can support that group study is better than the self study mam i fixed my routine but sometime my brain not want this in this time so what i do then then don't do anything but stop to watching any movies or playing any games also just do nothing then you see that how long you will stay like that doing nothing without doing anything how long you can do you can uh spend your time how to control overthinking if you can if you want to control overthinking try to engage yourself in different activities because overthinking is possible when we have lot of time if you engage yourself in actual activities only then you can stop overthinking so make yourself engage in different activities don't sit alone or don't uh, sit quietly try to talk try to interact try to do something involvement is very much important i think most of answers i have given ma'am yes you have done a wonderful job i'm really amazed the students have come out in the open they must have trusted yeah, you yeah that I, yeah yeah that i want actually that i yes. want i i really want an interactive session i don't want that yes. lecture method yes. that i am giving they they must have felt very comfortable because it requires courage to open up at this age and they have actually started opening up and asking the questions which are pertinent for them and later i think uh, i should we should inform the students that we have time to time uh, counseling sessions also so you will be meeting ma'am either in the online or offline mode in the days to come and now i would request our director sir to say a few words sir before we move yeah, on yeah. to the next session madam this is wonderful wonderful session and i was just going through the question answer session it's very nicely a uh, question by the students and more importantly madam has answered it so lucid manner and exactly. very practical way uh, yes certain things what madam told are uh, we also following the same thing even at this age madam mm -hmm. brought out very correctly this is a transition period This, this is a transition period, and we must remember mm -hmm. that I was a plus two student. Now I am a college student. Even forty-eight months or four years from now, again I will be transiting from a college life to employee life, where I become a uh, more important people. Or uh, I have to take the life differently when I go to a, a factory or go for higher studies or I start my own entrepreneurship. So this is a transition period and we must cope up with this transition very comfortably and every time we have to push ourselves to the corner so that we do not go to the comfort zone because normally we are in the habit of going to the comfort zone and actual task we always delay that uh, brings us to the procrastination that we will not do it today we will do it tomorrow and what madam told that tomorrow never comes so what we are doing practically there is a table diary we always keep with us and day to day task is given there that i have to complete the, that particular task on that particular day so that we are not overloaded we can plan our schedule at the same time we do not miss the deadline one student asking sir i feel madam i feel very negative in the uh, what do i do this is all my own perception you can do it practically what madam told him this one fine morning you get up until it's very fine morning and it's a uh, sh sun shining day i must do something very good today and you see the day in the same morning if you get up and say 
it is a very brown, uh, bright sunlight and if I go out, I'll get a skin burn. So it's very bad. What do I do? And you see the day. So you have to <laughs> take the best thing of life and start the day with a very, very positive note. When yes. it's raining in the morning, you see it's a very fine morning. It's raining so nicely. So I must enjoy the rain today and uh, ask yourself the reverse. So whatever you tell your heart and mind, mind will be acting in a similar manner. If you tell your mind that it is possible, mind will give you 10 or 100 of ex uh, excuses how it can be possible. Even the reverse is also true. So you must do it very, very practically. And one person said, how, madam, how to uh, tackle with the failure? Every morning when you get up, go to the mirror. Mirror should not tell you that you are a failure. If the mirror tells any day that you are a failure, that tell the mirror that I must prove myself. That if I getting slightly lesser marks in mathematics or get a paper back in some paper, it is not the failure. Take the challenge. All the small things are there, part of life. And you always do the introspection. Ki from where I had gone wrong. And work on that instead of cursing yourself, instead of cursing your teacher, instead of cursing the system. Take it as a challenge. And tell this, I must prove myself. You don't have to prove to anyone else other than yourself. So prove yourself that, yes, system could not judge me properly. And here I am coming out of the flying color. And someone has brought out very correctly imperfection. We must remember, perfection is only the word which is in theory. Practically, it is the imperfection we are dealing with. And that is why the world is so nice. So, in everywhere, if you find the imperfection, it is there, we have to deal with that. Always remember, neither the glass is half filled or half empty. It is half filled with water and remaining is by air. So, you have to look into that pair, or that air, that it is always filled. So, you have to change your perfection, perception and that imperfection is the part of life. We must remember and continue with that. Thank you, Apula Madam. It's a very, very Welcome, wonderful sir. day. We are uh, really feeling highly charged with this. And I'm sure the question answer what our students have uh, projected through the chat box is very nice. All practical questions. And you covered the uh, complete topic in small stories and very, very attractive manner. Thank you very much. All the best, Madam. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. You two went in for a wonderful session today. You have motivated, I think, your faculty as well as the students. Thank you, sir. And now over to DKM, sir, because we have the next part of the session. Thank you, Apala, ma'am. It was a pleasure, as always, listening to you. And now we move to the second part of day three. Today is the World Toilet Day, and we have a speaker. And DKM, sir, over to you. Thank you, ma'am. First thing, it's a nice, nice session by Apala, ma'am. And after this session, concluding remarks given by the director, sir, also is very inspiring, motivating. Definitely, this will help our students too much. Maybe they have many other questions that may be discussed on any other interactions later on. Now we move in the second session. I request our director, sir, to introduce the requirements of this, the importance of this day, and the next speaker, uh, our COA introductions uh, i request to director sir what to director sir please oh, re respect to the faculty members the beloved students once again a very good morning today we will be observing the world toilet day so everyone may think what is so great about it but if you see certain data it is very very important to know about the day worldwide 4.2 billion people lives without safely managed sanitation. Around 673 million people, they practice open defecation. That means they have to go out for their routine nature's call. So, World Toilet Organization, which was founded in 19 November 2001, and the inaugur they inaugurated the World Toilet Summit on the same day. It was the first global summit of its kind when the basic and most important facility of the uh, human life was discussed. 
in 2013 world toilet day was officially created by the united nations to recognize the life saving importance of toilet and sanitation it is also to raise the awareness about the fact that one in three people around the world has no safety and sanitation place to go when the nature calls us there it is about taking action to take in the to take the global sanitation crisis in a bigger way and to achieve sustainable development goal number 3 which is water and sanitation for all by 2030 now what is sustainable development i'll give an example once i am burning all the leaves and i am polluting the environment so today my field may be clear and nothing is left out but what i have done i have done the pollution to the nature and in future this will be causing lot of harm to us i take another example that i am using the solar cell i am using wind energy to produce electricity and lighting my room here i am not at all disturbing the future so whatever developmental work we do without disturbing our future or future generation uh, in general is the sustainable development so sustainable development has lot of goals and goal number 6 which says water and sanitation for all by 2030 government of india they have selected certain colleges based on their facilities and their will to contribute in sanitation so they call it swachhata mission and our college has proposed and the proposal has been accepted to recognize our college so we got the recognition that swachhata action plan institution by department of higher studies ministry of hrd government of india so as a part of swachhata action plan what we are doing we are keeping our campus as clean as possible our students when they are going to different villages under undat bharat abhiyan they are also giving the talk to the villagers on hygiene and sanitation so today is the world toilet day and we have with us our administrative officer sri arno chakravarti who will be uh, talking what is the implication of the day why we are observing this day and what is the future holds for us with this i hand over to mr arnav chakravarti to take the proceeding further thank you good morning everybody uh, first i would like to know am i audible clearly yes yes no problem very clearly or audible okay thank you sir Uh, first of all, good morning to our respected sir and all the senior teachers, or uh, our counselor, ma'am, in this webinar session. Before I go to start uh, my session, first I would like to thank Opala, ma'am, for a wonderful storytelling session and an inspiring session, which till date is a good lesson, a good teaching for us also to streamline our life. Thank you, ma'am. now coming to the session uh world toilet day okay so there is a question first can you see my presentation is my presentation on the screen sir oh no no it is not coming
Mm. Is it coming now, sir? Yes, it is coming. Okay, okay it's okay now. Okay, to first to I have a question. The question is on the screen first. Can you imagine a life without toilets? If I'm not wrong, if I'm not so less with my memory, in the very first day uh, of the induction, I was watching the program and I was watching the chat list. Uh, some people were saying how many commodes were there in the hostel and how many things are there because I cannot go without a commode. And a lot of questions were coming over there. So I believe, in my opinion, that we cannot even think of without being a toilet. Without having a toilet is like a nightmare to all of us. But we have to remember there are millions and billions of people in this world, those who are not having their toilets, a proper sanitized, man managed sanitation system. World Toilet Day, that is abbreviated as WTD, was first, as Sir said, established unofficially by the World Toilet Organization in 2001. But uh, by the year 2013, the UN General Assembly, which was uh, tabled in Singapore and was a resolution taken, on that resolution, 19th November was declared as a World Toilet Day. I have given a picture over here. This is a picture of India itself. It is taken uh, in Mumbai and a picture which is stated in the UNICEF website that says, that shows us all that what is the pathetic condition of our sanitation in the world? It is not only in India, it's all over the world. In various places, we have the same kind of sanitation. Why a toilet is important? Because a toilet is not just a toilet. It is a lifesaver. It is a dignity protector and an opportunity maker. It is not that we only use a toilet for going, for giving the response to our nature's call. It is also to protect the dignity of the human being. A very short thing, if we go a bit off the track and we remember about few movies, like uh, if I would like to say, uh, there was a movie called Slumdog Millennium, or there was recently a movie called Toilet Ek Prem Katha. Over the things you will find that how people is giving the awareness to the society through different medium, because audio visual is one of the better medium. So different medium, how they are giving the awareness that why a toilet is necessary in our life. World Toilet Day is an official United Nations International Observance Day on 19th of November to inspire actions to tackle the global sanitation crisis. Everywhere, if you find, everywhere, if you read, anywhere you go, you will find that it is a global sanitization crisis. Not for any particular area, not for anything. And to talk about or to say about global sanitization crisis, what are the things that you have to think is, as Sir said previously, you have to think about the sustainable development goal six. And what was it? The sustainable goal, development goal six says it aims to ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all by 2030.
Now, if you look into the statistics, if you go with the statistics, you will find that in this entire world, there is nearly about 7.8 billion people. 7.8 billion people. And among the 7.8 billion people, as our stat says, is more than 50%. More than 50%, that is 4.2 billion people don't have safely managed sanitation. I repeat, safely managed sanitation. So they have to go outside or they use some other medium to defecate. Except those, 673 million people practice open defecation. And only a very few part is having a proper sanitation system. Because all these things is happening throughout the world, there was again a resolution after this, uh, we say, Sustainable Development Goal 6. There is Sustainable Go Development Goal 6.2, which targets to end open defecation provide and to provide access to sanitation and hygiene. This was taken as a resolution in Goal 6.2. Now, what are the problems? What are the things that is happening if we don't have a proper toilet or a proper sanitization system? The first is defecating outside. People, those who don't have toilets, have to defecate outside in the open fields or in some other countries. They do it in the plastic bags or in the box. And what they do with that, they throw it outside. And the, these human wastes, those who are full of germs and a lot of infectious diseases maybe, which are getting in touch with a lot of various mediums and contaminating different mediums, like the drinking water, our houses, crop fields, and when they are contaminating the crop fields, when they are infecting our crops, it is germinating the foods and that we take, which also affects our bodies, which gives us diseases, which gives us a lot of problems in our life affecting our bodies. How it affects our bodies? So there is, I call it 4F system. It affects our bodies by 4F, finger, fluid, feet, and flies. Finger means, why fingers? Because we touch a lot of things which are contaminated with germs and through that medium, it comes in our body, which germinate our body and make us ill. Why fluid? There's a lot of thing we can say about the fluid. First thing, if we defecate outside, our waste is there outside in the open. And during the period of flood or some other reason, the water passes through that waste. And it mixes with the well water or the pond water which from where we take our drinking waters so directly or indirectly fluid is a very dangerous method which is germinating our body previously i just said to you about the field field if we if the fields are getting germinated if the foods are getting germinated, the crops are getting germinated, automatically the food that we intake is a huge problem. Number four F is flies. I don't have to say anything about this. All of us know that how flies germinate us. It seeds on the defecation outside. It seeds on the human waste outside. 
and again come and sit on our food directly germinating our food directly giving problems to our bodies and this for f, f what it does is a dangerous thing as you can see the data this is a data given by the unicef which says in the world we have 1600 diarrhea cases worldwide per day due to all these things due to not managing a proper sanitation system due to not managing a proper drinking water system filtration system we are having 1600 diarrhea cases worldwide per day and most shockingly the children are the most those who are getting affected due to this so now what are the solutions this is the very important part very main part why this world toilet day is observed world toilet day is not observed to show what are the problems we require the solutions the first solution is public awareness how to do this public awareness firstly if we go anywhere we can if we can see that this ill practice is going on we can make the people aware on ourselves own secondly as sir a bit before say on the Satchata action plan and Unnad Bharat Avyan. If we go to any village and talk to them, we will obviously try to convince those people to use a properly managed sanitation system. This are a few way out where we can uh, do this public awareness system secondly we have to give proper education why a proper education is required it is said it was a story i just heard from someone that if you defecate someone was saying to someone that if you defecate outside a, a human waste is good for the field but no it is not like that because the human waste comes with a lot of germs these we have to educate the people from the very beginning we have to educate to keep their own dignity what we i said previously it is a dignity protector we have to say them we have to educate them that going outside is not as per someone's own dignity so to keep someone's own dignity to protect someone's own dignity you have to use a proper sanitization system proper closed toilet third thing is easy availability now if you go to any interior part of our country or any country in any very rural areas you will not find toilets very easily because two of the things few of the matters are there first is poverty due to poverty they are not able to build up a proper sanitization system proper toilet because the limited amount of money they have they spend on their livelihood and they believe that this having a toilet is a luxury so we have to provide them ample amount of toilets and make them understand that what is the actual utility of having a proper plant. 
Now I'm talking about more sponsors. Why from the sponsors came actually if you want to ask me. It is basically connected with the previous point, easy availability. So firstly, for the easy availability, governments and NGOs are doing a lot of things. But we have to provide much more. We have to go very fast to provide much more toilets in the villages and let them understand what is the utility. You will not need a toilet only. A sponsor, if we talk about the sponsors, a sponsor is not only about providing a toilet in the village. If we talk about MNCs in future, all of you will join some or other MNCs or you will create your own company. You will come to know that there is certain thing called CSR, Corporate Social Responsibilities. Through this, all of the MNCs have to bear some or other social responsibilities. This responsibilities not only include, as it was firstly decided in the CSR profile, that it will include the uh, removal of poverty and it will be education. It's not only that. It gives ample amount of opportunity to all the MNCs to provide whatever they can or to take the responsibility of any particular area or any village to upbring them, to educate them, not only in the books and syllabus and these things, to educate and to aware them in every aspect of their life. Except this, like uh, I was just going to some other uh, studies and all. I just find a little thing and just want to share with you. <coughs> all of we have heard uh, the name of Mr. Bill Gates, a wonderful name in the world of IT. Now, this Mr. Bill Gates. Hello. Now, Mr. B this. Uh, Mr. Bill Gates, with the Bill Gates with the combination of some uh, faculties of universities, different universities, and with accumulation with NASA, is creating a device, a filtration device which transforms this germinated, polluted waters into a clean, drinkable water. And these, they are trying to give it in a very, very low cost, which can actually provide us a safe drinking water in a lot of places, especially in the villages and a lot of areas. This can be of great help. Though this is said that this particular device will be first utilized in giving comforts to the astronauts, those who go outside, but he is very much eager to see this happening in the very villages, those who don't have a proper toilets, and where the waters are already being polluted, where they don't have a proper drinking system, they don't have a proper drinking well, so they will be giving these materials to the villagers or to the government to install and to give a proper drinking water system. So these are different way out where we can give a solution to this particular problem. And if we focus on this particular things on the solutions and we work hard to make the people aware, educate, and utilize a proper toilet. In a future life, we'll be having a wonderful nature, a pollution-free nature, and good foods to eat, good water to drink, and good air 
to inhale. Thank you very much. Thank you, students. Thank you, sir. So, thank you, uh, Mr. Chakravarti. Uh, I hope that we have got some ideas of this importance of this day, which is very important to all of us. Definitely, this will be connected with this uh, nearby villages or where we are belongings. So, if any questions are there from our students, you may write in your chat box so that Mr. Chakravarti can discuss these queries. Write in your chat box. Anything to ask? Okay, since we are not getting any question, I have only one question to ask our chief administrative officer. We have very huge, sprawling green campus and Kindly tell us, in nutshell, how the campus is being maintained presently and once our uh, student comes to the college physically, what way they can contribute to maintain the campus? Uh, sir, first of all, as you say that we have a very good green campus around us and this campus is so well maintained that firstly we keep it well clean and we use a proper sanitation system and not only in sanitation system but we always would like to keep the tanks the water system very clean so that the water system doesn't get polluted by anything else. Alongside, we provide filters to all the hostels and the academic sections to provide a good drinkable water. Now, the point is how students can contribute. The first thing is to contribute somewhere is first of all, you have to contribute to yourself. So everyone has to be very careful that they should not pollute the campus in any way. Then we can think of the people, those who are working over here, how to aware more to them to keep these things more clean and sanitized. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you very much for the nice answer. And those who are staying in a hostel, uh, we try to keep the hostel toilets neat and clean. Then for the academic block, uh, we are also having dedicated people. But at the same time, I uh, request the students that you, whenever you use the toilet, just ensure it maintenance is there in case of any problem, kindly of fall back to the people, those who are deputed there. And in addition to that, we are having sanitary napkin vending machine also in uh, girls' hostel as in the girls' toilet. And in case those who are not functioning, please revert back to the people, those who are responsible for that. This is our campus, the maintenance is our responsibility, together we can really, really maintain it and the college with the 22 years past, the glory has passed, maintaining the campus and I'm sure with the induction of new set of students, new bright faces, bright ideas, we can do much better job as far as the, such other action plan is 
welcome, sir. Thank you. Over to DKM, sir. Uh, students, please uh, see one feedback link is given in the chat box. So please copy this link. And if you click on this link, a Google form will come and fill up this form and submit it. I request to you to copy this link. Otherwise, when the meeting will be over, you will not get this link. It has been given in this chat box. Please copy this link so that you can submit the Google form. Simply by clicking, you will get on form will come, fill up this form and press submit. So that will get your feedback. This will be counted as your uh, presence also in this day. Another information to you that whatever link is given to you for today, the same link will be, will be used by you for the next remaining days. So the YouTube link and the Google link are exactly the same, whatever you are using today that for the other remaining day. Uh, MK ma'am, uh, do you want to say something because I have seen that you are unmuting. Yes, no, no, uh, it, it was very well done. I think day three uh, has also been successfully conducted and tomorrow we have the GM of KTPP. Uh, so students, you are all requested to join tomorrow also just as you are doing so that this entire not only program becomes successful but tomorrow you'll get some very important guidelines also from the GM himself that is very close to our uh, college and we have a very close linkage also. So your future days, how you are to conduct yourself, what opportunities there are. So DKM sir has also set this up and tomorrow we are again going to meet at the stipulated time. Thank you. Over to you DKM sir. So I hope that all the students have taken this feedback link. So at the end, I thank you all of you, students as well as our faculty members, Victor Sir, Opola Ma'am, and CEOs. So with this thing, with this thing, I am concluding today's session. Alok Sir, please hang up this meeting. That's my class. Hello. 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 I want to switch off like a No, 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 Hello, I'm going to go to the college. 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 H
কত টাকা দিয়েছিল আর ওখানে